we have a Laplace transform here. And what is that? Well, we have the definition in front of us here. It's written into the problem. It's a little bit strange because we have an integral that's actually going to be a function of s, not a function of x. And what we're going to do is our f of x function is going to go right in there. So let's go ahead and apply this definition to what we're asked to compute here. Now, there's another definition where you write L, and I use this cursive L here, L of, here is our function, L of e to the 4x equals integral 0 to infinity, e to the negative sx. Now here is where our f of x, our particular f of x is going to go. We have e to the 4x dx equals. All right, so how do we solve this? Well, it's an infinite integral, so we're going to be careful. At the very end, after we integrate, we'll apply a limit. But how do we actually get the antiderivative? Well, we have the same base, so we can add the powers together. And I'm going to write this as e to the 4x minus sx. Now, my s's look like 5s. Just be careful. Uh, if I write a 5, I try to make it a little more boxy up in this part. So just make sure you know this is an s. All right, so how do we find this antiderivative? Well, there's one more thing we can do. We can factor out e to the 4 minus s x dx. Okay, so I'd like to find antiderivatives by guessing. So my guess is e to the 4 minus s times x. So what's the derivative of this? The derivative is itself times the derivative, this is the chain rule, times the derivative of that, which is just 4 minus s. So my guess is pretty good. The only problem is I get an extra multiplied by 4 minus s. So we're going to un multiply by 4 minus s or divide by 4 minus s and now we're going 0 to infinity. All right, what variable do 0 and infinity get plugged into? Well, we have 0, we have infinity, and we have an x integral, so they're going in for the x variable, not for the s. So we plug these in, we have, well, we can factor out the 4, 1 over 4 minus s. Now we're ready to plug in. So we have e 4 minus s of infinity minus e 4 minus s to the 0 power. So this, e to the 4 minus s to the 0, uh, that's e to the 0. Now up here, this is way more tricky. So it really depends on what 4 minus, it depends on what 4 minus s is. When 4 minus s equals 0, There's going to be some different cases here. I better move that down. So if formula says equals zero, what we're going to have now this was already zero here before even we plugged in infinity, e to the zero times, and I'm being lazy here, which I shouldn't be. I'm gonna use the letter b, limit b approaches infinity. This is how you're supposed to do it. 
is how you're supposed to properly do improper integrals. Okay. Lim b approaches infinity, e to the zero b uh, minus e to the zero, which is one. Uh, e to the zero is one, so we have one minus one. And that equals zero. So when four minus s equals zero, we get zero. When four minus s is greater than zero, what are we gonna get? Lim b approaches infinity, one over four minus s. We have e to the four minus s to the b power minus one. All right, here is where knowing four minus s is positive is important because e to the four minus s times infinity, this right here, the four minus s is positive times positive infinity, that's e to the infinity minus one, which is infinity. which is divergent. All right, last case. When four minus s is less than zero, what do we get? Limit b approaches infinity, one over four minus s, e to the four minus s to the b minus one equals All right, so this is negative. Four minus s is negative. So I'm gonna write it on the denominator by taking it as a reciprocal. Now, the reciprocal, this negative four minus s is positive. So it's e to a positive value times infinity, which is e to the infinity. And of course, what is e to the infinity? e to the infinity is infinity, but one over infinity is zero. Still have that minus one. And we're almost there. We have negative one times this fraction or negative one over four minus s. Let's multiply the top and bottom by negative one. So that gives us positive one on the top. We have negative four plus s, which we can write as s minus four. We have one over s minus four. Uh, this is the answer the problem is looking for right here, one over s minus four. Uh, not the zero and not divergent. So this was really the case the problem was asking about.